So here you are, this is a Shibaru technique. It's a form, as Zé Luiz just told us, just explained us, it's a form uh, that was used during war times in Japan to, to keep him really tied and uh, restrained. It, would, it was used uh, very often after Torite forms, after taking him down, and after, after disarming him, and it was also used as a midterm or, or as a mean to tie him uh, very close to a tree or something like that. What we have here is we have both his arms uh, in this in this in this cross position with his with his body, and really closed and tied to his body, and we have knots in both his hands. Both his wrists are. Uh, we're taking very close to his body, as we can see, which limits the the movement he could have with both his shoulders, elbows, and wrists. And now, what we are having here to, to 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 find the ending knot, what we're gonna have is have this so we are using his own trunk his own body as a support for this knot for this ending knot and now as often we will have the the tambo it could be a, just a staff or it could be a piece of bamboo which was uh, quite often used to uh, to to tie him even more to take to the to the limit the arresting technique. So, what we have here is we have this. And we have this. Well, for now, what we're going to have is we'll also include and uh, uh, in our chain of movements, in our chain of of restraining forms his neck if we use this piece of, of tumble as a leverage we can tie even more and take out all these spaces he's tapping already all these spaces or all the the gaps we could uh, it it could have happened so I'll just show one more time very slowly and here we are it could it it is actually choking him and uh, taking his arms even even closer to his body we could use this to tie him as we just said to, to, to a pole or to a tree or something like that <clears throat> And here we have one more uh, Torite and Shibaru technique.